Detective Ward. Can I tell him who wants him? Hold on. Somebody call Charlie Boyle. Who? Charlie Boyle. Oh, yeah. Hey, Charlie, long time. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah? Of the United States. Is he alone? Anybody else? Huh? Now look, you sure this is straight? Wonderful. All right. Now look, if it works out, I won't forget where the information came from. Right. Yeah, yeah, no. All right. I'll talk to you. That's right, heroin. Chief, all I can tell you, the guy has never steered me wrong yet. I'll cover all that. Coordinate with Federal Narcotics and our own Narcotics Bureau. But, Chief, I want to go after Peter Lessing myself. Hold on a minute, will you? What? That's right, it's stocking now. All right, I'll check with you as soon as I pick the stuff up. Johnny, get the car. Check his baggage yet? Not yet. Let's go. Close the bag, sir. Peter Lesson? Come with us. Get caught, please. to the sea and ships. The sea. Mother of us all. Mother Lessing. Home at last with a surprise for your miserable kids. It was a bad tiff. We get our share, too. Well, it'll be the first bad tip I ever got from this stoolie. Well, maybe somebody else brought the stuff ashore. But else is still on board. Find it and tie it to Lessing's neck. The Riverfront Squad? They went over the state room and the other obvious places. There are just too many places where it could be, Mike. So that leaves it up to me. And Lessing. We'll keep the ship and the pier under surveillance. Anything else you need, just holler. You know, we got the biggest narcotics squad in the world, so don't be bashful. Don't worry, before this is over, I'll do a lot of hollering. Mike, I hope you nail him. Want to talk to Johnny on two, Lieutenant? No, well, what's she got? Nothing special. What's up, Johnny? Across from Lessing's place, Lieutenant. Lots of traffic, mostly female. It's good taste. Lessing has no taste, Corso. Good, bad, or indifferent. Listen, want me to hang in? Yes, I do. Now, let me know the minute you get anything. You 
You're really out to get him, aren't you? So? I know you have good reasons, Lieutenant, but... Well, maybe you're letting them tip you over a little. What are you trying to say? It's personal? He runs a legitimate business. Heroin? They didn't find it on him. I should have figured that up front. It's on that ship somewhere. And sooner or later, he's going to get it off. Unless the tip was sour. Or it's already off and in somebody's arm. To need anyone to stay here. Now, I just thought that we should talk about it. He's bluffing. Oh, I think so, too. But he's registered a beef for the department. Harassment. Claims you're persecuting him for personal reasons, causing him public embarrassment, etc., etc. Now, he's threatening to file suit. Oh, good. Maybe I squeeze where it hurts. Now, all he did at custom was examine his luggage. Everyone, even the great Peter Lessing has to go through that. Not with policemen breathing on him. Even the customs people aren't too happy about this. They say it gives them a bad image. Nobody saw us. We even took him into a private room. I'm not faulting you, Mike. I'm just as anxious to get something on Lessing as you are. Let's just say that I'm a little more objective. Objective? How can I be objective about a guy who's making us all look like clowns? Particularly me. He's got his fist that had the action in town. I know for a fact he fenced the Waverly Jewels. And the last time I called him, the case was dismissed on arraignment. On arraignment! All right, Mike. Stay on it. But try not to give him an excuse to raise any more of a stink. I'll back you up. Right, Lieutenant. If they split up, let Paddock stay with Lessing. You take the other one. They're leaving now. I'll call in as soon as I can. Forty-seven, East Fifty-Four. Ward, I want to run down on this guy. Our files, License Bureau, BCI, Narcotics Bureau, IU, and anything else you can think of. Yeah. up to, but it's all I could get. Standish, Murray L., born Murray Standisky, March 14, 1928. Standisky, Standish, out of Lessing by way of junk. July 1952, divorce Mexican style, May 54. Strange partners. 4F, punctured right eardrum. Most of his junk is the key, junk is the lock. Now where's the door? He's in the Washington files either. As far as the record goes, he's clean. Off the record, I uh, dug up a couple of interesting facts. He gambles, horses, and he seems to have a kind of a... Ah, no, maybe we're getting somewhere. Result is, he's in hock way over his head. With the biggest bundle owed to Fat Sam Parker. Parker? Fat Sam Parker? Isn't he a good friend of your good friend, Lessing? 
Oh, if he's in Dr. Parker, he's in a lot of trouble. Fat Sam isn't the patient type. I've seen some of his samples. That means that Standish needs money and he needs it fast. Yeah, maybe we're getting someplace. Yeah? What's happening? Oh, have you seen the society page? I'll get back to you. Fashion show to be given a charity party by Mrs. Holson. Hmm, here's another one. Cocktails for charity. SS United States setting for society spectacular. Dreadful photographs, don't you think? Yes. When was the affair planned for, Mrs. Holson? Fair. Yeah. Now, that's sort of a square word, Lieutenant. Can't we just call it a party? Well, I'm kind of a square man, but... All right, let's do that. Let's call it a party. Solid, square, and serious. You really are, aren't you? You're solid and serious and square. Just exactly the way a policeman should be. There's one thing wrong with you, however. You don't have big feet. Please? No, thank you. You think you have a way with you, don't you, Chicky? I think you're right. You don't look very happy, Lieutenant. I didn't say anything wrong. Oh. You're not really worried about it, are you? Why don't we talk about your party? Would you believe it hasn't even sort of happened and I'm bored with it? You sound as though you've been working on it for a long time. Forever, that's all. Oh, it must be six weeks. How many people knew about it? For instance, when did the invitations go out? Oh, about a month ago. Or as soon as we knew the ship was going to be in port long enough for us to use it. A month? The word's been out. Time enough for Lessing. Oh, we haven't done anything dreadful and we're all going to go to jail. Well, if it happens, call me. I'll come see you. Thank you, Miss Halsop. You've been a big help. And I'm sorry about my feet. What's the worst dusting job around your house? Her mini blinds. They take too long. His computer. The keyboard's a pain. Their piano. My dusting's never good enough. You can't prevent dust. Pretty quiet. And he says, uh, I wonder what you're going to drop next. <laughs> From where I stand, I'd say he's doing all right. I'll tell him. This isn't going to be easy. Too much gear, too many hiding places.
waiter. Uh, excuse me. Oh. Fine. Now we're cooking. Stay on him. Does Johnny know? So the photographer showed up. Good. Hello. I'm Reese Holder. Hello. This is Ginger. There. And who are you? Well, I wish I could tell you, but I'm undercover. <laughs> Swell. You're on your own. Dance with me. I wish I could, but I've had an accident. Ginger? Oh, you can call me anything. <laughs> Ginger. Never saw him before in my life. My guess is he crashed. Good. You stay put just in case. I'm sure Johnny can handle him, but don't get too far away from the phone. So I said, look, buddy, you got... Hey, where are you going? Not now, love. Where? I'm not going. I'm... Look, there's a chick here that thinks she owns me, and she's the airport type, and you just let me shake her, and then we'll have a ball to us. You wait right here. No, I want... pictures later.
Jeff? Jeff! Something's happened to Johnny. Then he set up the gangplank. Go after him. Right. Excuse me. Well, police officer Standish, put down the gun, you won't get hurt. Watch it, watch it. It's wild. I'll shoot! Easy, fella. Take it easy. Then stay away from me. Standish. Standish, you'll kill yourself. I'll shoot you! We'll get both of us. From all of us here at Nostalgia Television, we wish you the joy of the season and a healthy, happy new year. The following is for veterans, their spouses, and widows age 45 to 75. Uh, lottery tickets. We never missed a week. My husband and I knew the odds were ridiculous, but it was only a couple of bucks, and it was fun. Then Ron died six months ago, and I found out we didn't have enough life insurance. I owed almost $6,000. Turns out we could have easily afforded extra life insurance for the price of a couple of these. You can afford life insurance because Veterans Life Insurance Company offers term life policies for as little as $1 a week. If you served in wartime, peacetime, active, or reserves, call this toll-free number for free information about dollar. Coming up on Nostalgia Television, brought to you by Corning, designed for living. Given that you spend about 32,000 hours in the kitchen during your life, why not make that time a little more colorful? Cranberry Visions from Corning, designed for living and giving. This is Nostalgia Television, your entertainment and lifestyle channel for the 90s. 
To achieve your ultimate potential, we introduce the Nordic Flex Gold, the breakthrough in strength training technology that makes all other machines obsolete, including SoloFlex. Nordic Flex Gold is five ways better than SoloFlex. Nordic Flex Gold simulates the linear motion of free weights, maximizing your workout. In contrast, SoloFlex uses a less effective arcing motion, which can pull your body out of the correct workout position. Nordic Flex Gold has isokinetic resistance to match your natural strength curve. Your body is stronger at certain points of the stroke and weaker at others. The isokinetic resistance of Nordic Flex Gold accommodates these differences, supplying the most resistance when you are strongest and the least when you are weakest. So you get maximum resistance throughout the entire range of motion and maximum results. On a solo flex, the resistance simply increases as the rubber band stretches. It does not match your natural strength curve, so your workout.